Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Andrea Lee versus Natalia Silva. And high for buttons right here is I'm going high confidence Natalia Silva to beat Andrea Lee. And I yeah, I already said high for but um yeah, I think um Andrea Lee's a solid fighter. I think she's um definitely had a second um quarter second win in her career and was looking better. And I think she's still looking better. I think she's probably the best she's ever been. But all that being said, I think Natalia Silva should win. And again, high confidence. I think she's a faster fighter. She's a more fluid fighter. I think she's less, like, the more fleeted, fleeter, feeted, <laughs> less flat-footed. I think Andrea Lee could be pretty flat-footed at times. I think her head could be pretty stationary. And she can be pretty um, down and back. Like, she could be pretty linear. Whereas Natalia Silva will move. She'll stick and move. She'll throw a lot of kicks from a lot of angles. Throw not a lot of combinations. I think she's the better... Clearly better to better grapple between the two. I, I like Andrea Lee's experience. And I think she can deal, she's like, has heavier shots, which is a issue, you know, could be an issue. Like she could deal with heavier leg kicks, though heavier punches, typically. Maybe not heavier kicks to the body and to the leg. But anyway, nonetheless, I think what's going to come down to is the momentum of Natalia Silva, the speed of Natalia Silva, the strike, the speed advantage, the grappling advantage. And the fact that she can, by having that grappling advantage, she's the better in position to take the fight where it needs to take place or where she feels better to take this place, you know, you know, more in control of taking the fight where she wants to take it. If she feels she needs to go to the ground, she'll have better success there. And even if she doesn't have the success with the takedowns, if um, Andre Lee's not feeling uncomfortable on the feet and getting teed off on because she's so stationary, her head's not moving too much, and her feet are flat, and she, then she try to go for a takedown, Natalia Silva could finish this fight on top or bottom with her BJJ. So, yes. Yeah, like, so whether she's going to take that or not, I think she's better in control of that. And whether she's on bottom or not, she's in better control of that. She's the more dangerous fighter. And then on feet, I think she's just more flat. I said more or faster. Yeah, she's faster, more fluid, and less defensively negligent. So I'm going to say a decision victory. I think she can get it done in the distance, and this probably will be a statement for us. But I'm going to lean to a decision victory here. I think she's going to, again, just be too fast, landing shots on her. Definitely probably will have her hurt at moments. But um, ultimately going to be a pretty... Um, clear decision for an entire Silva once the final bell rings. So, in this one, I have Natalia Silva via decision. 